Assalamualaikum my dear friends my name is Muhammad Rehan and today's our topic is respiratory system now let's discuss what is respiratory system now what is organ system when a group of organs work together to perform a specific function is known as organ system like that it's a respiratory system there are totally nine parts in it we will discuss in we will discuss but let's first know what is the main thing on which we live that's oxygen obviously we don't choose and air that's the oxygen we need to inhale it no 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 we all inhale air we inhale nitrogen carbon dioxide oxygen and many more gases now only oxygen goes into our body now let's discuss now first part the first part nostrils the two holes present in our nose are called the nostrils so Uh, we will uh, see the nostrils here nostrils are two holes in the nostrils there is a hair like structure present in it that's known as cilia okay these are the nostrils the cilia cilia stops the dust particle tiny dust particles from entering our body after that nostrils there is now nasal cavity now this uh, after this nasal cavity these are the nostrils and this is the nasal cavity now nasal cavity in the nasal cavity there is a liquid like thing present in it that is known as uh, mucus okay the mucus stops the large dust particles okay the large dust particles stop that stops from entering our body now after the nasal cavity we can see there the pharynx okay now the pharynx pharynx is a tube like structure that connects our nasal cavity and the trachea the trachea okay this is the pharynx and this is the trachea trachea is also known as windpipe in english but it in science we call it trachea trachea is a thin tube and it gets divided into two parts that are called the bronchus and for the two lungs these are this is trachea it gets divided into two parts bronchus this these after when it gets divided into two parts our lungs are very big now now only two parts now it the bronchi gets divided again into many parts more than two parts that are known as bronchioles look at this these are known as bronchioles and this is bronchus now bronchioles when each bronchus gets divided into many parts that is known as bronchioles now after that we move on alveoli alveoli is a tiny air sac okay in tiny air sac it is surrounded by air ca- that blood capillaries in the blood capillaries in there there are present deoxygenated blood now we will know here how oxygen only gets in our body in the deoxygenated blood it has a high amount of iron okay we can see in our daily life oxygen only reacts with iron not gold not to silver or something else it only reacts with iron so in our blood its iron is in a high quantity so oxygen gets reacted with it now after oxygen after oxygen the other parts the other oxygen gases like nitrogen carbon dioxide and many more gases they go out from our body now then a diaphragm that is the last last part in our uh, respiratory system diaphragm is a muscular structure okay diaphragm uh, when the rib cage diaphragm this is the diaphragm okay now uh, from the lungs from left right and front it is protected with rib cage now the point is how it is protected from down side so the digestive system will be connected with respiratory system my friends the diaphragm separates the two systems okay the diaphragm separates okay diaphragm is the main muscular system that separates it and this diaphragm also protects our lungs from down side when we breathe our lungs are spongy that are not all muscles that due to the tiny alveoli air sacs it gets spongy it expands when we inhale and we when we exhale the air it is again into it form so that was it for today thanks for watching